Hello viewers, how are you all? Welcome to our channel Trade Empire. Today in this video, I will explain about Stochastic Indicator, which is so much useful for the traders to make the trading more accurate. But before going ahead in the video, if you are new to our channel then hit the like button and subscribe our channel, so you can keep getting these types of informative videos also in future. Now let us get into our today's topic. Friends, Stochastic is one of the most famous indicators which is widely used by the traders. The Stochastic indicator measures the momentum of the stock, thus, it can show movement of the stock. There are mainly two lines in the Stochastic. First is percent %K line, it is called the fast line, and it is indicated by the blue color. And second is percent %D line, it is called the slow line, and it is indicated by the orange color. Percent %K line is the main line, and the percent %D line is the three-period moving average of the percent %K line. According to the theory, when the stochastic goes below the 20 level, it is called that the stock is oversold. Now there are chances for the reversal, and from now the price may go in the upward direction. Similarly, when the stochastic goes above the 80 level, it is called that the stock is overbought. Now there are chances for the reversal, and from now the price may go in the downward direction. The reality is somewhat different than the theory. The price does not respect the oversold and overbought levels at every time. You can see in the chart, sometimes during the high downtrend, the price goes in the downward direction, but stochastic may stay in the oversold area for long time. Similarly in the high uptrend, the price goes in the upward direction, but the stochastic may stay in the overbought area for long time. So, what is the solution in these types of situations? The solution is to identify the main trend of the stock, and we should trade according it. It means, during the strong uptrend, we will only look for the buy signals when the stochastic moves below the 20 level. We will avoid the sell signals during this time. Similarly, during the strong downtrend, we will only look for the sell signals when the stochastic moves above the 80 level. We will avoid the buy signals during this time. Now let us understand the bullish crossover and the bearish crossover. When the percent %K line cross over the percent %D line from downside to upside, then it is called the bullish crossover, and when the bullish crossover happens below the 20 level, it will give the buy signals. Similarly, when the percent %K line cross over the percent %D line from upside to downside, then it is called the bearish crossover, and when this bearish crossover happens above the 80 level, it will give the sell signals. But we should not trade only on the basis of the crossovers. We should use other indicators to execute our trade with more accuracy. I hope you understood till here with clarity. Now the question is that, at which point, we should make our entry with more precision. One of the best ways to make efficient entry is the pullback. But before finding the pullback, we have to find the trend of the stock. And to find the trend of the stock, we will use moving average. Moving average is the one of the best indicators to identify the trend of the stock. Moving average is the average of the price for the specified period of time. For example, if we plot 20 period moving average on the 1 minute time frame chart, then it will show the average of the 20 candles. Here we are going to use two moving averages, we will use 30 EMA and 60 EMA. As you can see in the chart, during the uptrend, 30 EMA is above the 60 EMA, and both the EMA are plotted in the upward direction. Similarly, during the downtrend, 30 EMA is below the 60 EMA, and both the EMA are plotted in the downward direction. Moving average also works as support and resistance level. For example, during the uptrend, the price will make supports for many times between the zone of 30 and 60 EMA. Similarly, during the downtrend, the price will make resistances for many times between the zone of the 30 and 60 EMA. We will use this logic of support and resistance in our strategy. Let us understand the conditions for the buy setup. Condition number 1. 
we will buy when the price is in the uptrend. And we will make our buy entry at the end of the pullback when the price gets support between the 30 EMA and 60 EMA. Condition number two. We will make our buy entry when the stochastic make bullish crossover below the 20 level. Let us take an example. Here 30 EMA line is above the 60 EMA line, so the price is in the uptrend. And you can see here a small pullback and price is taking support in the zone between the 30 EMA and 60 EMA. Now, for the accurate entry, just find at which point the bullish crossover occurs. As you can see here, the percent %K line crossover to percent %D line from downside to upside, so this is our bullish crossover. Thus, are all the conditions are satisfied here. So, we will buy at the high of this candle, our stop loss should be at the 60 EMA line, and our target should follow our 2 as to 1 risk reward ratio. Now, let us understand the conditions for the sell setup. Condition number 1. We will sell when the price is in the downtrend. And we will make our sell entry at the end of the pullback, when the price gets resistance between the 30 EMA and 60 EMA. Condition number 2. We will make our sell entry when the stochastic make bearish crossover above the 80 level. Let us take an example. Here 30 EMA line is below the 60 EMA line, so the price is in the downtrend. And you can see here a small pullback and price is taking resistance between the 30 EMA and 60 EMA. Now for the accurate entry, just find at which point the bearish crossover occurs. As you can see here, the percent %K line crossover to the percent %D line from upside to downside, so this is our bearish crossover. Thus, are all the conditions are satisfied here. So, we will sell at the low of this candle, our stop loss should be at the 60 EMA line, and our target should follow our 2 as to 1 risk reward ratio. That was all. Dear viewers, if you like this video, then give many likes to our video. And I know the real smart people will definitely subscribe our channel, so they keep getting these types of informative video also in future. Take care of yourself.